This is going to be building the engine mount for the flying machine rocket. Um, you're going to want to find the 24 millimeter tube, the long engine hook, the two centering rings, um, and then one big green ring and one of these smaller ones, plus your um, Kevlar shock cord, the, the heavy version. Um, the first step is to mark the tube and we want one inch from one end and then 3.25 inches from that same end. So here's the first one right here. And the second one. And you don't have to be too exact. Um, when I when I design the kit, I always try to design it so that there's one inch from um, the end of the tube or um, from the end of the hook to the first centering ring. This one's a little bit longer. And what that does is it allows the hook to bend back further like that. Um, that's my criteria. So if you're ever designing a rocket, put that back centering ring far enough back so you can lift the hook up. It's a pet peeve of mine when somebody gives me a kit and I can't get the engine in because they didn't allow for the, the hook to bend. Um, then we're gonna take a hobby knife and we're just gonna plunge it into the tube and make a little slot for our engine hook. And that engine hook will go in there just like that. Um, now, we're gonna take this green ring right here and we're gonna glue it inside of the tube so that it butts right up against that engine hook. Um, so this is just some wood glue. And what I do is just put some in there and then spread it around with your finger. You could use a wood dowel to spread it around too. I know there's people out there that don't like to get their fingers wet. <laughs> there's some in my family. <laughs> okay, so it's just going to go in there like that. Um, also look down on this end, make sure that um, the glue doesn't get past that ring. Otherwise the motor has a hard time um, seating all the way down there at the bottom. Um, I'm following along in my instructions here. Our next step is to take this shock cord and we're going to tie it around the tube. And I like to use a slip knot, but you can use any knot you want. It's going to get glued to the tube, so the, the, the knot really isn't that important. The end of the Kevlar always frays like that, and I hate that when that happens. But it happens. Oh, I missed. Try it again. If, if, the, if that is bothering you like it's bothering me, just take some glue and just smear it in there. And that will stiffen her right up. And then, ooh, it pulled it out again. I have problems with this knot. There we go. Okay. Now I want it nice and tight up against the tube like that. Um, then we're going to take the ring, and both of the rings have a little notch right there. Um, I want to use that for the um, to go over the shock cord, and then on the back one, that one's already cleared out. This one's going to go over. The engine hook that's it's designed for the engine hook to slip right in there like that. Okay. And take the rest of this and pass it through here. I pulled it right off the tube. It's okay. Oh, actually, this one doesn't go on first. The green one goes on first. So there's a green ring there. And I want to take my hobby knife and cut a notch in it. And so I kind of use it like a little saw blade. 
saw there and saw there. I'm not going all the way through. It's pretty hard. And then when you do the second one, kind of just twist your blade a little bit to lift it up. Oops, I lifted up too much. It's okay. Okay, so now what happened was it kind of delaminated here, if you can see it. That's okay. Just take a little bit of glue. Just kind of ooze it in there, just like that. Okay, so this is going to go over here. I might as well do that one too. That one goes on second, so I'll just put it over there. This one goes on first, and then it goes around the tube. And then find your notch, put it in the notch. And push it over the tube. And you want to push it over so that you have a big enough gap there. So you can also put that one on. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I push it a little bit further. And I'm going to run glue around the outside. And smear it around. And then just do like this, just kind of grab it, pull it forward without crushing the end so much. <laughs> and then take this one, find that little notch again, put the shot cord in it. And that's going to get glued there like that. So I'm going to put a little bit more glue on. Now if you get glue on the uh, shot cord, don't worry about it. Um, if especially wood glue, because wood glue is, is pretty flexible. So it's not going to make the uh, shot cord brittle. If you're using uh, super glue, then it would be a problem. So now you want to pull this tight. You want to press it up against that green ring there like that. Then put a fillet of glue around the outside here and a fillet of glue over the shock cord. Like that. And it's pretty messy, so just run your finger around there. See that one? See how nice that looks now? And then do the same on this side. And then, finally, we're going to glue that ring right there. There was my first mark right there. So I'm just put a bead of glue around the outside, smear it around. And just slide it in. Make sure that that shock or the, the uh, engine hook is straight along the tube. So just kind of rotate it around until it's nice and straight. Make sure that it's also vertical. So kind of look at it. And then take a little bit of glue and then we'll put a fillet around the outside on both sides. And then we're just going to set it aside to dry. And then before we can go on to the next step. All right, so there it is. There's the completed engine mount. As soon as that's dry, we can start putting it inside the tubes. So I'm Tim Van Milligan. This is the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. You're watching the construction of the Flying Machine Rocket. You can buy it at Apogee Components at www.apogeerockets.com.